Finding out about the baby's sex is the most exciting thing for the parents to be. And thanks to the advanced ultrasounds, that help them satisfy their curiosity. But the question is, what decides the baby's sex? Well, we have made this video on sexual differentiation to help you better comprehend the entire process of how an undifferentiated zygote develops the sex distinction between a male and a female. Well, the whole process that results in the birth of the baby starts with an egg and a sperm. So, let's find out how. Each egg carries one X chromosome, while sperm carries either an X or a Y chromosome. So, it's pretty much clear that when an X beaving sperm fertilizes an egg, a female is conceived. As females have XX chromosomes, and when a Y-bearing sperm fertilizes an egg. A male is conceived, as it is the male who has XY chromosomes. Hence, the sex of the child depends upon the male partner, since the two chromosomes are different in a male. It is known to be heterogametic sex, and a female is termed the homogametic sex, since the two chromosomes are the same. Well, females are considered the fundamental sex. This is because all fertilized eggs would develop into females without significant chemical stimulation. While on the other hand, to become a male, an individual must be exposed to the various factors initiated by a single gene on the male Y chromosome, known as the SRY, or sex-determining region of the Y chromosome. And you know well that females do not have a Y chromosome, so they do not have the SRY gene. And without a functional SRY gene, an individual will always be a female. The SRY gene encodes a protein called a transcription factor which then activates other genes. SRY activates gene transcription, directing the development of male structures in an embryo, and also suppresses the formation of female structures. The absence of the SRY transcription factor, along with the expression of the gene, called DUNT4, causes the development of a female body to occur. The SRY gene is also thought to be responsible for the development of testes and Leydig cells, which secrete testosterone that stimulates the development of the male genitalia and the organization of neuronal systems in the brain that are involved in sexual function and behavior. Also, there is a marked growth in the sexually dimorphic nucleus of the medial preoptic area of the hypothalamus and the spinal nucleus that controls the bulbocavernosis muscle. This one, highlighted in green, is the bulbocavernosis muscle. Bulbocavernosis muscle is actually involved in ejaculation. Well, sexual differentiation starts after the sixth week of gestation. However, Undifferentiated gonads are apparent after about four to six weeks of gestation. During this period, both the Malarian ducts and the Wolfian ducts are present. Malarian ducts are also known as paramesonephric ducts, while Wolfian ducts are also known as mesonephric ducts. Now, what happens in the males is that at about the seventh week of gestation, the testes start secreting testosterone. The presence of the SRY gene and testosterone causes the Wolfian ducts to develop and form male accessory sex organs, including the vas deferens, epididymis, and seminal vesicles. 
while the Malerian duct degenerates here. Not only this, but the fetal testis also secretes anti-Malerian hormone, or AMH, which causes the degeneration of Malerian ducts, and thus prevents the uterus and fallopian tube from developing. On the flip side, the opposite happens in females. Here, the ovaries secrete estrogen, but not anti-Malerian hormone, or testosterone. So, there is no Y chromosome. So, in the absence of the SRY gene, testosterone, and anti-Malerian hormone, Mendelian ducts will develop to form female accessory sex organs, including fallopian tubes, uterus, cervix, and the upper one-third of the vagina, while the Wolfian ducts degenerate. So, that was how sex differentiation occurs in the fetus. Now, in the next parts, we shall cover puberty and the sexual response in males and females. Explore our extensive library of over 1,800 video lectures to learn about a wide range of topics. Only on scotia.com.